Hello, we're back again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to set up Pi Core Player. I'm using it on a Pi 3, but it'll work on a Pi 2 or a Pi 1. And I'm uh, going to be using it with a uh, Meridian Explorer 2 DAC. So, first things first, you want to go to the Pi Core Player website. So you can just do a Google for Pi Core Player. And up will come this website. All you want to do is go into Download and the top version which is this one I've already got it downloaded so I've already got that saved I'll go through all the steps to uh, copy the image to a SD card the thing I would do first if you've used the SD card before is to format it and I use um, SD formatter let's go into my S's, uh, SD formatter it always normally pick the right drive and mine is G so all you got to do is click format and click OK and OK again doesn't take too long to do and then you can just exit and now you want to uh, copy the image to the SD card I use a USB image tool I'll put a link in the description for these bits of software let me just move that to the center yeah, normally pick the right drive so it's G again so you want to go into on these tabs here you want to go into favorites and then on the bottom row there you want to click add and go to where you saved the uh, image of Pi Core Player I've got it in my downloads so I just click there so you want the strange thing about it is to get this to right you want to click on the left there on your drive and then click back on the right there and then you get the restore button come up and then just click restore click yes doesn't take too long to write to the uh, SD card so uh, that's all done now and now you can plug the uh, SD card into your Raspberry Pi now you've uh, turned on the uh, Raspberry Pi for the first time I'm going to show you the uh, settings you have to change to get everything working which doesn't take too long so the thing you want to do, you want to go to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So uh, if you're not too sure what it is, go into your router settings and you'll see listed Pi Core Player with an IP address. So you just go to that IP address, you just place it in the address bar on a Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge or whatever browser you use. And you'll get this main page pop up. The thing I always do if I go to main page on the bottom here you've got uh, tabs basic normal advanced and beta I go into advanced because you get a few extra settings they can all be left for now they're fine squeeze light settings right this is um, that's the uh, name of the player you can change that if you want to up the top here you've got audio output right at the top and it says analog I want to change that because I'm using a USB DAC I change that to USB audio but if you've got something like a hi-fi berry or one of the others you can change it to that whatever's needed but I use a Meridian Explorer 2 so I want USB audio so I click save and it's gonna have to do a reboot of the Pi which doesn't take too long oh uh, if I go back in there we go it's rebooted so I've got USB audio selected now thing you want to change is output settings if you click more it's listing the cards it's found the thing I found, if you're using a Meridian Explorer 2 DAC, to get a MQA audio to work, to get the blue light to light up on the DAC, you want to use front card DAC device 0. So you can just copy that, like that, copy it, and paste it into output settings, like that, and just click save. And it wants to do another reboot, which doesn't take too long.
Let's go back into squeeze box settings. So that's all set up now. Pie card player, front card deck, the equals zero. You haven't got to change the ALSA settings. They're fine. Uh, everything else in there is fine. Uh, you can set up the Wi-Fi if you want to, but I've uh, got my Pi connected via Ethernet. So it's up to you if you want to uh, set that up. So you've got tweaks. They're all fine at the moment. Well, the thing I will do... <coughs> sorry about that, I need to cough. Jive Light is the main uh, display and control panel when using the Pi Core player. You want this if you're using the 7-inch uh, touchscreen like I am. So click on the drop-down, click Enabled, and click Save. Thing you may need to do, there was a setting just below. I'll show you when it's uh, set up. It's just downloading Jive right now. Because uh, sometimes the screen can be uh, upside down, so you just need to uh, rotate it, which I will show you in a moment. Um, it's coming up to uh, reboot the uh, Pi Core player again, so just click OK. And that's rebooted, and you should find now you should have uh, Jive Lite running on the 7-inch uh, screen or whatever screen you're using. But if it is upside down, which you can do sometimes, you've got here, you've got Rotate Screen. So you've got Default, or you've got Rotate. And you just click Save, and it will uh, re uh, rotate it for you. Right, next we'll go into the LMS tab. So I'll click there. Thing you want to do, you've got the Logitech Media Server, so we uh, need to install that, which is there, just there. So just click Install. It's telling me now there's not enough space on the SD card, so the thing it's going to do is going to do a reboot and resize the card for me. So if I just click Resize, it's now uh, rebooting the Pi again. And it's going to resize the card for me so it uses the full size which can take a little while but it's not too bad right let's reboot it and resize the uh, SD card so we want to go back into LMS and you want to install uh, LMS which is the Logitech media server we just go through this again because the first step it was just uh, resizing so we want to click install again which uh, doesn't take too long so uh, just downloading Right, that's all done now, so we're just going to re uh, reboot the Pi again. Now that's rebooted, go back into LMS. And I am I have all my music stored on a uh, WD My Cloud. So the thing I have to do, if you scroll down, you will see Install and Enable Additional File Systems. If you don't use that, you'll find you can't mount your drive. So I click Install. which shouldn't take too long to do. Yep, that's all done. Right, so you scroll right down to the bottom and in the uh, setup network disk mount, I have to place, or I have to uh, put shared, so it's S-H-A-R-E-D. The server IP address is the uh, IP address of um, the uh, network drive, which is my cloud, so it's a for me it's 192.168.1.141, and server share is public. So it's P U B L I C. 
share type can be left username i have to uh, enter uh, guest and for password i use guest again G -U -E -S -T. now down here you got uh, two options so click the top one and then set net mount and it should mount the drive so just click OK again right now that's rebooted fingers crossed everything should have uh, mounted properly and should be working the thing we want to do now is go into your Logitech media server and to do that all you want to do is type the IP address of your Pi followed by colon and then 9000 so if I click there so you've got the IP address of the Pi then you've got colon 9000 uh, it's up to you if you want to uh, log into your Logitech media server totally up to you I've, I've got an account set up so if I click next right so now you've got local music folder this is the folder on your network attached drive which for me is my uh, WD my cloud so the thing you want to do you want to go into MNT so click the plus and down the bottom you've got shared and by rights when you click this it should show you the shared folders on that drive which is done so I've got shared music shared music flack pictures and videos so I want shared music flack so click there and now it's showing it's listing all my music on the drive so I down the bottom right hand corner I just click next if you've got a playlist folder you can add it in but uh, I haven't so I just click next on the bottom right hand corner and click finish right all we got to do now is scan the folder so then it adds in the albums and the music so on the bottom right hand corner you've got settings click there and in basic settings you've got your media folders so all you want to do is click browse go back into MNT click the plus down the bottom you've got shared so I click plus again and I want to use the shared music flack so I click there and then it gets the folder gets added in so I just click close then I just click apply and then OK again and it's gonna start scanning that folder and adding the music you can click uh, scan in view progress if you want to and it'll show you as it goes I think I've got about 9000 tunes so it can take about I don't know roughly about five to ten minutes to do a scan so I'll uh, fast forward through this bit and uh, come back to you right I'll just close that tab and go into the first one now you should find uh, all your albums have uh, been added I will uh, just go into one I'll just search through yep everything's there it's going to well I'll just uh, play an album uh, what have we got here? Let's have some uh, let them write. Uh, app. So if I click play, yep, it's loading in. Yep, and everything sounds like it's working. I can hear it in the background. The thing I'll do next, I'll show you some of the settings on the uh, actual Raspberry Pi, showing you the screen and everything. So you get the album cover showing up and the uh, controls to use. So I'll uh, be back in a minute as I, uh, I'm just going to swap over. Now over to the uh, Raspberry Pi with its 7 inch touchscreen. I'm just going to show you some of the settings to change and go through some of the menus. So for me, I pick English. If you're using the uh, 7 inch touchscreen, you want to use Joggler, which is already selected. So I'll go back. So now you've got your different menus. So I've got Now Playing. I've got my music so if I go in there I can go album artists and they're all listed so if I go into 808 state it's showing me all the albums just go back 
and back again. You've also got radio. So I've got my presets already set up. So like stations, TalkSport, LBC, Radio 5 and a few others. So I'll go back again. And back. So if we go into my music, album artists, you can use the scroll bar on the right. And it's coming up with the letters, so what should I go into? L. Try and find something where YouTube won't come after me if I start playing it. Uh, let them write. Let's have the app EP. And just click the first one. And it start, starts playing. Turn that down. So on the front you've got controls for say next track if you wanted. You've got your pulls. Um, back to play. I think as well, if you touch the screen, touch it again, you get an album cover. Touch it again, you just get text. Touch it again, you get like a graphic equalizer display. Touch it again, you get little meters. You can add other meters. And touch it again, go back to the album cover. So uh, that's everything done. I'll just show you another couple of settings to make sure the display always comes up with the album cover. So if we go all the way back, I think it's in settings. And just got to find it now. Screen. Uh, now playing. Yep, now plan, views, scroll mode. Uh, for screen savers, when playing, I've got it set as now plan, or you can change it to a, uh, analog clock, digital clock. Uh, when stopped, you can have now plan, or you can have your clock come up. I normally have a clock when it's stopped. And when I uh, turn off, I normally go blank screen or display off it's entirely up to you let me just go back and go back into now playing just top right hand corner so that's all done and everything's set up so as always hope this uh, video helps and uh, goodbye